What's going on guys, my name's Simon, welcome back to another episode of Will It Rally. In this episode, we'll be taking this Audi Quattro around a rally stage. This car might look very familiar to you from the last video. The last video we took the rally edition of this car around the stage, and it absolutely smashed the Mini Cooper off of its perch. But now we're going to take its little brother slash street version slash little bit worse performance but it's still a good car around the rally stage i'll put up all of the performance specs and uh, the torque and power curves and whatever it is up on the screen now so you can see them anyways let's get straight on into the video right so we're gonna pull the handbrake rev it up and in three two one go brake nice and early this car has very little brakes still managed to hit the WRC board there on the right now coming around this sort of double right hander this car is a predicament most of the time it has as I said no brakes not the most agile thing incredibly difficult to get heat into the tires and I'm now sideways which is unideal but we've managed to save it or make it look a bit awesome in the process so that's always an added bonus Oh dear, oh, I've lost it and I've managed to hit the WRC board. That one is unfortunately uh, hittable. Some of them aren't. And, um, well, that's going to be a, a stunt in our growth. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. I think I said that correctly. It could be some bad phraseology there from Simon SNB the rally master but not whilst he's talking now coming along to the pole that we hit last time we need to make sure we don't hit it which is absolutely fine we're never going to hit it in this car because we have more over understeer than well a polar ice cap to be honest with you oh I've outbreak myself here massively down into third oh dear that's gone very badly wrong. I've been realising recently how much I've been saying oh dear. Um, I don't know why I say it that much, but obviously I do. And, um, well, there's a joke about it at this point with the deer appearing in basically all of my videos. Oh my word, that is a terrible crash. Oh, what was that? Physics. That was... Well, fourth dimension stuff there. You wouldn't see that in Star Wars, let alone a set of Corsa. My word, that was that was a near fatality there. So we'll pull the handbrake now. Sort of lateral slide our way around there. Now we'll hit the wood pile and a number of spectators. But that's fine. See, the, the tyres are still absolutely stone cold. I don't know how you can possibly heat them up in this thing because you have to go so slowly just to stay on the track. You go slowly because you've got no heat in the tyres. And, well, you gain no heat by going slowly. Oh, dear, I've hit that. But you gain no heat by going slowly. So you need to go quickly to get heat in the tyres, but if you go quickly, you crash, and then you're stopped, and then you lose heat in the tyres. Basically, your tyres are infinitely cold, and there's no two ways about it. Heel and toe down to second... Oh dear, I've managed to hit the uh, the fence there on the left. It's not too bad when you hit it with the side of the car, a bit like that. Well, that, that was less than ideal because it completely 360 spun me. But most of the time it's not too bad. Why is... Oh, I've forgotten that the car's just understeer to kingdom come. We are not going to get to where I want to be on the board. I've done a practice run and I'm looking at... Hopefully getting in the top three, but we are not going to be getting anywhere close to that at this rate. Particularly with me and my, well, I'm not sure quite how to phrase it. My priority to commentate well rather than drive well, which, oh dear, generally leaves, leads, there, no, 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 I can't even speak. Generally leads to moments like that where I hit fences. See, it just ploughs. The understeer is absolutely immense. Hearing me. At least my microphone isn't falling down this time. I've actually done it up tight enough. Look at that. 
that. That is that is criminal amounts of honesty. This car is from the 80s, I believe. 80s or 90s. It it looks like it's from the 80s, but yeah, it's well, it's pointiest thing in the world. In fact, it's probably one of the most understeered cars that I've driven today. It is. Well, the Archnet, oh dear, but that is absolutely horrible, that crash. I've just realised how many people could have been killed in that. And well, I'm not sure if we have back seats. I think we do have back seats, but whoever was in the back seat is probably dead at this point. Oh, oh, I've completely jumped that. Oh, good lord. Oh dear. That's... That's awful. Oh, oh, I've gone bad here somewhere. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, that's that's not very good at all. Oh, I've got a I've got a front left puncture as well. That's well, that's less than ideal. Oh no, we're not going to steer anywhere at this rate. It'll say something about the Peugeot 504. If we manage to beat that time in this car after crashing a number of times, ooh, and also having a front left puncture, I'm gonna have to get a replay of that just to, to see what happened. Oh no, that's awful, that crash. This has just been a run of, well, utterly hideous crashes. There's no two ways. Oh dear, the understeer has just been multiplied by flipping 50. This car, I cannot get over how much understeer there is at this point. Oh dear, we are basically a three-wheeler. Oh, never mind, because we're in a pole and we're also dead once again. Oh dear, that's not a gear. Oh my, I'm so focused on the gears and missing trees that I've... Well, I've, I've missed the go-throughable tree. Oh, why, why have I put it into a reverse? I've missed the go-throughable trees, but I have in fact hit... The, uh, the non-go-throughable pole. It is turning into an absolute podcast now. Oh gosh, the understeer, the understeer, it should be able to manage that corner in second gear, but it can't because of the puncture. Six minutes fifty, we're about to get beaten by the Alfa Romeo 4C. Oh, the understeer. I'm having to do constant three-point turns. Const utterly constant. There we go, we've been beaten by the 4C. So we're now in fourth, or fifth, I believe. So we're definitely not going to get where I want it to be. Now it's just a matter of, well, damage limitation. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I don't know why I'm pushing in the slightest, because I've got a puncture. Respect to anyone who has ever driven with a puncture in rally, it must be absolute hell. Saying that, they don't do it in this car. And even if they did, it would be a souped up version of it. Like we had in the last episode, but now we've completely lost our bottle. And, um, yes. We uh, are going to come home. Oh my word. Oh my word. There we go. We've actually got heat into the front left. The weather is... Oh, never mind. Never mind at all. Come on, get it going, get it going. Come on now. It's going to be a time of 8 minutes something point something. It's 8 minutes 20 point four nine or oh, four six nine apologies now i'm gonna look on my little well i'll just use the uh the results from the last video by watching them on my youtube channel and that result is going to put us in eight minutes 20 where do we go we go in fifth place or do we no we go in sixth place just well we're splitting the lego hot rod and the ford transit so Sixth place out of what is uh, now 11 cars. So we've, we're about in the middle. Well, that's not too bad of a time, I suppose. I'm not quite sure what's going on with those tyre temperatures there on the right. 
the one tire that we have punctured is have we punctured it it doesn't look like we have but the one the one tire that we apparently punctured i think we punctured is, does ret mean a puncture, or is it, does it just mean the tyre is massively overheated? I'm not sure. Actually, I think the tyre was just massively overheated. But never mind. We've got temperature in that, and the others are all stone cold. And now the left front is beginning to go to stone cold. Anyway, um, on the results, yes. Uh, it's an alright result, considering all of the, uh, the monumental, life-threatening, and possibly fatal collisions that we did suffer with a number of solid objects on a rally course that has very few. So uh, anyways, that's enough of my rambling. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like and feel free to subscribe. It is very, very much appreciated as always. But apart from that, my name's been Simon and I'll see you in the next video.